just, I guess uh, Dave didn't want you playing ball this summer because he felt like you'd, I think you'd started 69 games as a freshman, which is a pretty unheard of. What what what'd you do this summer? Uh, this summer, uh, right as the season ended, we were back here for a few days with our final exit meetings, and right after that, I hopped in my car and made the trip home back to Amarillo, Texas, and spent about like two two and a half weeks there. And then as soon as that was done, I headed back up here to Fayetteville and got with Blaine Kinsley, our strength coach, and started lifting and then started hitting and getting back after it ready for this upcoming season already like has your body changed much are you heavier or stronger uh i'm about the same weight but i'm stronger now it's because after the season i lost a little bit of strength it was a long season but now i've put all the strength back on and uh i feel great right now what's what's, what's your weight uh right now i'm like 200 205 I'm not saying you're going to do what Andrew Benintendi did as a sophomore. He kind of did a similar thing, didn't play ball, focused on weight, lift, and then he had a monster season. Just how, how do you think not playing ball but maybe focusing on strength, can, getting some rest can help you? You know, I think it was really good for me. It, it got me away from the game for a few extra weeks, and I was able to take some time and go back home and catch up on just like with my family and everything, and that was just good for my mind and my body. And then got back here and started focusing on strength rather than go and get more at bats out in summer ball. So I didn't come in the fall ball dragging a little bit after an even longer summer. So I think that'll help me with being ready for the spring. A lot of new faces, just uh, trying to get acclimated to those guys. Oh, uh, it's you just got a, a lot of names to remember, but it's been pretty easy so far. And you know, there's going to be a group of those new guys that are going to have to fill some roles that we lost, obviously, but. As of every year, there's going to be a few guys that step up that are really going to help this team out. How do you feel about playing the exhibition games against still you in Wichita? Oh, I, I think that's awesome for us. It gives us like a little break up in fall ball to where we get to go face some other competition rather than seeing the same guys every day in practice. So ever since day one of fall, we're all kind of like focusing on it. Like, okay, we play OU two weeks, we've got to start getting ready. And then after we play OU in a week, we're focused on Wichita State. And after that, we got the Fall World Series. So it kind of breaks up the six weeks of fall ball. It gives us something to look forward to. How's it, are you, did they move you to right field? Well, they talked about it. Uh, they've talked about it a little bit, but they have me taking reps there. And I, we'll see what happens as the season comes along. How do you like it? I, I, you know, all the outfield positions, they're a little bit different the way you see the ball. But for the most part, they're pretty much the same. I know those are exhibition games, but how, how much do you guys want to beat OU in Wichita, you know, and play well? And oh, you, we, we always want to win games when we play them, or even in the fall ball games when it's just gray versus black team. We're, we're trying to beat each other because that's just the way we are. We're competitive people, and when we come together as a team to play OU or Wichita State, we, we want to come out on top.